Laura Denikoi, Fee Jameson Fallen, the Lifestyle Aligner, helping you live the life you love. And that is actually a really good um, synopsis for what this week's topic is all about. Because basically, what's the point? <laughs> I can remember feeling this very thing. What is the point in getting my financial health sorted? To me, it just seemed like um, a bit of a bottomless pit of challenges. And I really didn't really want to start going there. And it was aptly demonstrated by <laughs> my lack of idea around money and how it worked basically when I was growing up and moved away from home when I was about 17 still really didn't have much of a clue until I was um, along the track of having been working my own business for some time and I still was relatively clueless obviously I had a basic understanding that money needs to come in and be available for bills etc and then ideally there's some money left over um, but it took a while to get there and part of that was becoming more financially savvy, attending seminars, reading books, being around people who had more clue. And so, you know, the, the bottom line is, what is the point in getting sorted? And there's some really useful words here in a, an article which you'll see in the written version of this vlog, which put it really well. So when you start managing your finances, you have a better perspective of where and how you're spending your money. You know, to me, I didn't, I just thought, oh, well, that's it, it, that's just the way that it is. I didn't stop and kind of reconsider things. I don't know if you can relate to this. Um, this can help you keep within your budget and even increase your savings. Because at the end of the day, being able to do more of what we want is ultimately what it's about, isn't it? And what, whatever that might be, it might be one of the big kickers for all of us is to enjoy quality time with the people we love, doing cool stuff. And for many of us, it's about being able to give back when it comes to, we've met our own needs and now what? Um, and you'll also learn to control your money so that you can achieve your financial goals, ultimately, what I've just mentioned. So is this an area that you have naturally shied away from? Because <laughs> it certainly has been for me. And this is something that I really appreciate about my husband, Chris, who's, got, who's pretty savvy when it comes to the financial side of things. Um, having that perspective on things, which is always a valuable one to kind of put in the mix and work with when we're making decisions. So how about you? I'm looking forward to seeing you on this week's Alive with Fee and ciao for now until then.